but the dust really is just dramatic like to me that's just very dramatic of my tripod to just be like yeah girl i'm over here dusty i'm getting dusty like girl <laughs> Y'all, tell me why I'm at the gas station on the way to my first day of work. On the way to my first wedding at my new job, which I think we still haven't talked about my new job, so we gonna talk. But why I went in the gas station and my total was freaking 777. Like, when I say I've been seeing angel numbers literally every day, um, my angel number is 444, but I've been seeing 222, 333, 777, 555, 1212. Like, I've just been seeing everything, and I just, and all the energy around me just feels right. And I think I showed y'all in this, um, in this vlog 818 portal august 8th i like actually tapped into that energy and i feel like it's most definitely happening for me but i just want to tell y'all my total is 777 how coincidental like my ancestors is just all over me right now i switch on my way to uh my new job first day like thank you guys Hey y'all, so I just made it. Well, not just, I've been here for a little bit. I've been munching on these, which I told myself I'm gonna stop eating in my car because I'm such a messy B I T C H, and it's just so not ladylike. I got my car cleaned last week, and I'm just like, girl, you need to keep it up. We are never going back to where it was. But you know, life reflects where you are. So, I didn't really give up. But you know, things are looking up for me. So, let's keep my car clean. Um, I'm out here. It's 4.15 and we're supposed to meet at 5 to start setting up and everything. So, this is really just my observation day. And so, I figure I might as well just tell y'all what's going on. So, These are probably the worst eyebrows I've ever done. So, your girl finally got a yes. I applied to this position, I think, in July. And let me just tell you how God works. So, I left my job because lack of growth. Um, betting on myself. Wanting to bet on myself. Wanting to test out entrepreneurial life and i'm gonna be honest i don't know if i am as entrepreneurial as i thought i was i am very resourceful and i don't want nobody telling me what to do when to do it how to do it like loosely i like nobody bother me like don't micromanage me give me what i need to do and i'm gonna do it but leave me alone and i like flexibility but also leaving my job i had also the intention of like okay i'm not against working you know um i want to give my time me some time to try my entrepreneur and like my business and my business endeavors but um a few months in i'm like okay i'm not like just against working or like being in corporate or whatever it was just I realized that I just want something more aligned with my interests, and I said that. I said that out loud to God. I said that in prayers. That's what I was looking for initially, heavy. And the interests that I had in mind were e-commerce, fashion, lifestyle, right? So months go by, job searching, blah, blah, blah. Things are not going as as planned um to be expected um so i pivoted to like sports i'm into sports too um and just trying different things and then it got to a point where i was just like okay i'm just gonna be looking for something full-time um 
that, you know, at least were places where I was. And then it became, okay, let me just look for things outside of that job title because I'm not married to this social media stuff. So with all of that, boom, I get a yes. And, you know, I applied to this position. It was definitely, it's definitely not full time. It does not have benefits. It's part time and it's hourly. Um, I haven't worked anything hourly since 2019. Um, but what stood out to me is the, is the creative aspect of it. So at this moment, I am a freelancer. I'm a freelance social media marketer and content management. And the beauty of this Yes, is that okay? I'm doing that, but then I'm also assisting with weddings, like hands on, like setting them up, capturing content on site. Like, and if you know me, you know I'm a DIYer. You know, I my luxury picnic business was curating an event, like curating a vibe, curating a a look, you know design and that's kind of what wedding planning is obviously it's event planning too but to start out I'm assisting with weddings so I said all that to say I got exactly what I prayed for I got something more aligned with my interests but that's why you got to be very specific when you pray because I didn't say I want something more aligned with my fashion like I just assumed God knew like something aligned and it's fine with me like I'm right where I need to be. I love the flexibility of getting out of the house, not being just completely remote, but not having to report to an office cubicle for eight o'clock. But it feels so good to break up the monotony, like break up being home. I was home and been home for like three years now. So I love this separation. And then the social media side is remote. So I can go park up at a Starbucks if I want to. I could batch content. Like, I like where I am. And it's just like God knows what he's doing. And, you know, yes, there was bumps in the road of me trusting this and going with it. But I am so proud of myself because I trusted it. I remained present. I said, I'm not even going to put the focus there. I'm going to do what I have to do. And what I, what God expected me to do was show up for my interviews, put in the work to apply. And I did my part. And I got so many no's, y'all. I started to question if I was even as good as I thought. And, you know, he was working it all out for something very fitting for me. And always in the back of my head, I'm just like, you know, what I'm doing right now is not full time. So I don't have benefits. I'm not salary. Like, it's a hustle girl era, you know. But I was coming to terms with that because I'm like, I'm cool with that. Like, hustle, like, it's, it's marrying the entrepreneurial part of me that likes to show up for myself in that way. But with the security of someone else's business and running and they have things in place already I'm not having to do everything and that's like any business owner that's why they hire because they can't do everything so it's like being my own boss in somebody else's business you know what I'm saying it's just crazy how God works but if you know you know and it's not that crazy because this is always how he works so that's what's happening but regardless I'm just feeling really good. Like, I'm just feeling really good. That's why I told y'all I got, like, angel numbers everywhere. I'm new to a lot of some, like, a lot of this spiritual awakening stuff and whatever. But I've been on a journey this year um, that's brought me closer to it. So I'm interested in knowing what things mean. And so I tapped into that energy. And I'm not going to lie, like, everything's been looking up since for me. Like, everything, my mood, my passion, my opportunities, everything's opening up, and I'm just so thankful for it. I'm so thankful, but I'm also proud of myself because I stuck out the dark clouds. I stuck out the unknown, and I didn't even live in that energy. Some days, yes, like, I'm not perfect, but I didn't even live in that energy. I was just being present. I'm just being... I was just like, girl, you ain't got to go nowhere to work. Like, you going to see your brother house to work? You collecting a little money to watch your niece? Like, just be here. Enjoy it. And I did that. And that's new for me because I'm not that person. I'm, what are we accomplishing? Type A. I told y'all. So, that's what's going on. So, yeah. 
I'm going to um, stop preaching to y'all. But it was just like a moment. I needed to tell y'all. I needed to tell y'all. I figured since I'm waiting, I might as well just come down and check out the beach. This is a really nice beach for a wedding, for sure. I um, just had to wear my glasses, so I ain't got no shades, but I do have a hat. But look, this is so peaceful. You just hear the waves crashing. Let me shut up. Hey y'all. Uh, so, somehow, somewhere this week, I got sick. Uh, I'm a little better today. It's Thursday. Or it is a Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Um, I have an interview in the morning, which reminds me I need to check what times so I can set my alarm. And I'm supposed to be going to see my boyfriend tomorrow. He on the phone. We watch a ride along too. Um. Yeah, but somehow I got freaking sick, and I don't know. I think I think the weather's breaking, and my body always reacts sooner than like you see the, the clear distinction in the um, weather. Um. Also, I. I'm going to post my vlog dumps. I am. It's just that the video that I intend to start everything with is so long. And it's like so like intimate and vulnerable. And I'm just like, when are you going to post it, Jay? When are you going to post it? When are you going to get this ball rolling? Um, I don't know. I'm a little nervous because I want to be. I want to do that. So that I can be an influence on being genuine and authentic and honest and self-aware with yourself. Because that is who I am off camera. But it's just a little like, oh my gosh. Because I'm human. And um, I don't care what people think. But I do care what people think a little. Just because I'm like. Which I talk about a little bit, I think, in this vlog. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, I'm very much that girl. But there's, like, multiple parts to that girl, you know? And I just feel like me putting myself out there, like, it's going to take away from my that girlness. But I, my higher self knows that it's going to add to my that girl. But my, like... Okay, so if that's the higher self, my, um, my, like, this level self, <laughs> my, like, this level self is, like, a little nervous about it. Uh, um, yeah, my higher self knows that that will add to my that girl, but this level self is still a little, like, we can't show that, like, you can't be that girl looking like that, you can't be this, you know, just in my head, but. I know what I want to do. So, I'm going to do it. I'm just being a little shy. And I'm just nervous about, like, what that's going to, what image, but, like, not image, but, like, what message that's going to send. But I'm hoping for the latter. I know it'll be the latter. How about that? I know it will be the latter. I'm just a little shy about it. Um. But, yeah. I really need to get Invisalign. I really need to get my teeth fixed again. Because they're shifting badly. And I feel bad because my mom, like, she did that work for me. And now it's all reverting. And I hate that for me. I hate that for her and I hate that for me. So I'm going to fix that. So... I'm getting further on Kaya's skirt. 
So at this point I've added, it has three rows of the yellow and I asked her if she wanted me to go on the back and she said she didn't mind that much if it wasn't on the back because she wants the front full and I agree with her. The only reason I was even thinking about that is my mama. She brought up a good point. She was like, Dad, does she want it on the back? And I was like, dang, I didn't ask. But she let me know. So I'm just going to keep filling this in. We have all of this left and this piece left to add here. So I'm going to make it as full as I can. Um, I don't think she needs two rows. I think that that will start to look a little funny. So I'm just going to fill up this front. And yeah, I've been hand sewing it, so it's working for me. I need a sewing machine, though, and I'm going to take some classes. I said I was going to do that this year. I'm going to make sure it happens, like, for real. Like, that's the main thing I said I want to do this year, and I just haven't done it yet. Um, For money reasons. Like, anything this year I didn't do is because I didn't have the funds, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to work on that. And I need to get a new tissue box for the night. But I'm feeling. But I'm feeling. But I'm feeling um, a lot better. And so I'm gonna just finish watching right along too with this man. Cause oh my gosh, he missed me so bad, y'all. He's just been acting like a little kid like a little brat like he can't hear me right now i'm talking that shit he can't hear me because um muted bitch but yeah he just been really like needed some attention so i'm gonna pull up on him this weekend perfection this is man from toronto this is not right alone too like that's why you cannot believe anything that comes out of a man's mouth Yes, I've been in a long-term relationship, but I tell everybody, like, I always say one of my most toxic traits is I don't believe nothing that come out of nobody. Like, I don't believe nothing that come out of their mouth. I don't. And Jim is a prime example because he just be talking. Sometimes he really just be talking. Like, and he won't correct me if I say something. He'll just let me go with it. Like, just correct me. I'm saying right along, too, and he's not telling me that it's, it's just so annoying. Because just like last night, it's like, okay, I hung up, um, and I said, I was like, I was like, I'm doing something, like, I think I was doing some work, and I was like, I'm just going to call you when I'm done, and I was like, but answer the phone, because you have not answered the phone, you'd be falling asleep on me, he's like, I'm going to answer the phone, I call, he doesn't answer the phone, like, just say, babe, I might not, but call me instead of just making it like a for sure thing that I'm gonna answer the phone when you call like stuff like that stuff like that it's annoying some days I really be team F a man like men are useless like like I like the I hate men train like I be there with y'all some days and the other days I'm just like oh, it's just nothing like a man <laughs> I swear, like, I be just like that. Like, it's just nothing like a man. It's just nothing like it, like a black man. And the other days, I'm just like, what are men good for? Like, what do women need y'all for? Like, for, like, beyond the obvious. Like, what do we actually need y'all for? Yeah. Hey, what is the boo? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, guess what? Hold on, I gotta tell y'all later. Let's go. I need a car mount thing. Okay, guess what? First of all, I like a freaking bug with these damn shades on. Damn, mosquito got my ass. Guess what, y'all? Let me, whatever. I'll just talk. Oh, wow. Hey, y'all. Um. Hey, y'all. Um, it's Tuesday. I'm back home. I don't know where we left off. 
but I did go see my man this weekend and um it was nice and I was gonna pull out my camera but I never think to when I'm with him but I was going to but I'm really tired I was going good all day but I'm tired um, I hope that I have enough energy to do some journaling tonight because I'm really excited about this new, this new phenomenon, like not phenomenon, this new information that I gained today, um, watching Glamazante's blog. She was talking about manifestation and I believe in the power of manifestation but i don't think that i have done the best job manifesting anything in my life so she mentioned um like this technique of journaling which i've always pretty much journal it's been really slow but i do like daily devotionals i journal but she had a really interesting point on it Mafia your ass off that game. Why? Not why. Because <laughs> it's time for bed. But, um, yeah, actually, I had way more fun with that than I expected or anticipated. But I ain't gonna lie, I was excited to try it earlier because the way Tay talked about it, it made it seem like it would be something that you get excited to do the only thing is okay so i'm writing about the day i want to have so i guess i'm just going to keep that at the forefront the day that i want to have because today wasn't a bad day so i feel like on days that are harder this will be an exercise that can really improve your you know mental and manifestations because it's like an outlet but like when it comes to manifestation something that I've kind of recognized by myself is that I don't have a lot of desires like, like when I get frustrated it's about these three things like not having my own space not having money to do all the things that I want to do at that time and the freedom to be a contributing member of society but it not be bound to my quality of living can i survive can i sustain myself it's like those are the three things i can mention to you that i desire but when it comes to like materialistic things like when i see them i know that i want them but yeah it's it's a sad case like I don't really know what I want and aspire to have. Um, well, now that we're talking about it, I want to be a YouTuber, like a very successful, have a very successful channel with organic supporters, with purpose behind my intent. You know, like I want that for myself. It's my only dream job that I've ever had. I want to move. I want to live in different cities. I want to own property. I guess I get caught up in the fact that 
in this moment what i can work on now seems very local seems very small seems very incremental which would be to move out on my own and right now what that looks like is if i can just get a nice studio apartment but if i'm gonna write in my manifestations journal that's not what i should be writing right like i should be writing I should be writing like what is it that I want out of this life in the greatest grand scheme of it um, and not always just luxury but like the highest level of that so for me the highest level for that could be a townhome like you know just spitballing Like, yes, I need to come here. Uh, okay, now I definitely am going to get the itis. One down, one more to go. It's almost 4.30, so I'm gonna head back to the spot, which is like five minutes away, and then I'm gonna just chill, and then we'll get the cracking. Um, in the future, I might bring y'all with me. I really should have brought y'all with me to the one this morning because it was like no guests. It was just the bride and groom eloping so it was like real like low maintenance so i really could have set y'all up and showed y'all around but we'll find a time to do so let me just pay for this parking i hope i wasn't here too long it should just be like five dollars i just want to say that i honestly feel like like I just feel so like I don't have a problem with my natural face right like I don't have a problem with me most of the time sometimes like when it depends on the time of the month or whatever sometimes I'm a little hard on myself and I'm just like you just so unkept you just look so ugh. but honestly like what really take it there for me where I probably would never ever have that thought is when my lashes and eyebrows are done like forget the rest of the stuff but lashes like really take my look up and these are strips and i think i've said it before i do my own lash extensions every once in a while but as convenient as they are they take some time and i gotta find a way to make them last at least five days versus three days because i be pulling them back out and it's like what was the point or i gotta learn how to apply them faster to make it worth it to me but yeah i just wanted to come on here and say that because i recognize that about myself like long as there's lashes and eyebrows involved 
and sometimes not even eyebrows like lashes really do it but hey y'all i'm back so i'm just getting ready to film and i have not filmed in so long hold on my boyfriend called me for what hello Y'all just do it online? But what are you talking about with bedding? No, Jim, you just don't like be told anything. But you treat me like a secretary, so when the secretary says what she says, you need to do. Alright. Yeah, okay. Mm, yeah. So when I speak, you need to listen. Okay, bitch. <laughs> Cause you get a little too happy and you think you okay with it because I said it because that's how you like to treat me. And so if you're gonna treat me that way, bitches listen to their secretary. You know? Cause they they incompetent. They slow. They delayed. Um where's my Yeah. Aggravating. Like men can't do nothing themselves. Nothing. Like this. All I was trying to tell y'all was that I'm about to film today and I have not filmed in months. Like a sit down video. Um, but I have a sponsorship to do. And your girl's getting paid. Like I think I've only gotten paid from a brand one time before and it was the same brand but the mo the money the number went up because my video went up and they were trying to just do they were trying to give me the same amount that they give everyone like to get them to do a, a post but i was like can we negotiate because you need to go check and follow this link and look at all the views i got and then i was like a little bit annoyed because the way they approached me was as if i hadn't worked with them before and i'm like excuse me i am such and such like i've worked with y'all and actually here's my video that went and did stupid numbers and still doing stupid numbers so um i had to negotiate so we got a new prize being talked about so i have to do this video um but i'm just like i don't even really know what i want to do because it's just like how many boo videos can you do but I have an idea, so we're gonna test that out. But um, yeah, I just wanna tell y'all, I'm about to do a sit down video, I'm a little nervous because that's not really what my channel is. That's not the type of time my channel be on. And I haven't done one in so long. So we'll see, fingers crossed. <laughs> y'all why i just pulled out my tripod and it's dusty oh my gosh it's so dusty i ain't filmed in that long i mean obviously dust does what dust gonna do but the dust really is just dramatic like to me that's just very dramatic of my tripod to just be like yeah girl i'm over here dusty i'm getting dusty like girl <laughs> hey y'all so <clears throat> to open some packages with y'all on camera um, so all of them are shoes um this first package is from amazon but the last two pairs i've got have been in collaboration with this um seller on amazon they reached out to me now they're not asking me like do videos and stuff of it they really just be wanting me to write like a review and take pictures with the shoes 
but sis they're cute so my shoe collection is growing so um i want to show y'all because i need to take the pictures and stuff but the reason why i haven't done that is because my toes oh no i'm gonna have to send these back this one shoe is messed up this one's not why is it like so this was the shoe that they wanted me to take pictures in and um, write a review for on Amazon from the same Amazon seller from last time but I'm not really a fan of the fact that the glue is exposed in the front and then the right shoe doesn't have the bow and is busted so I'm gonna have to send them an email because I can't do nothing with this baby to tell them that this is not this is not up to par baby what's going on yeah so I was excited for that but I'm gonna have to uh, email them and figure out what I need to do to get a new pair or none at all but okay so then I um came across this brand it's called Quanticlo um I don't think they're uh, an American company but they do ship to the US so I think I saw one of the fashion girls on Instagram like so, like not even fashion let me just say one of the, an Instagram model um, on there and she had on like an outfit and her boots were cute this is the first box looks like this it's a little beat up i ain't really gonna be mad about it though because it's from overseas and this got to me really fast but i got these platform wedges i've been wanting me some of these i wanted the steve madden they had steve madden had white and they had this hot pink pair and I tried them on in Orlando and they ran small. I tried literally every size. Some they didn't have and then I think it went up only to a nine. I am a nine, but the nine fits like an eight. Like it runs small. So I was in there with my cousin and I was like, I think they found me a nine and a half. I think go to a nine and a half. So I think I found a nine and a half in like a different color to see if I would order it. And I was in there with my cousin. I was like, these could work? And she was like, no, your foot's hanging up. I'm like, no, it's not. And it, it, she was like, no, Jaya. So I never got to, like, complete my dreams of having a shoe like this. But then I saw this neutral color, black and white, but print statement piece. Very much me. And I was like, oh, baby. I got to have these. Okay? And they fit. I don't really want to show y'all my toes because they're not done, but it's so cute. I love the color in the print. Black and white goes with everything, so I just feel like this is going to be such a cute, like, pop to something. Yeah, my toes are, like, hideous right now. I just can't do it to y'all. I just can't. Maybe y'all can see from a distance. Don't look too close. These are so cute. I'm so tall though. I need to look in my mirror. Woo, I am up here. These are high. I'm probably like 5'8". Let's see what it's giving. I like the way my toes look in them because sometimes my toes like my feet are so skinny that sometimes like my long toes they just look kind of funny but they look cute it fits my heels are just a hot mess i need my feet down so bad but these are something to style yeah i'm like five eight in these but they're pretty comfortable cute 
Okay, so I got these. Like I said, because I don't even think I showed y'all the clothes. I just put them on my foot. I got these cute little neutral black and white zebra-esque platform sandals. And obviously I'm going to have to, you know, style these up. But I'm happy. And honestly... Um, one of the highlights of this brand is that they are really affordable, really affordable, kind of like an ego official and a public desire. So I was able to get two pairs of shoes for about $80 and one is a boot. And as you can see, they're pretty well made. So I want to just put y'all on. So this is Quantico, um, in this black box and Y'all should already know what I'm about to show y'all. These pink fuchsia boots. Oh my God, they're so cute. They are so cute. Bitch. Ha! Yes, ma'am. Now these. Now y'all already know this is very much Jaya. Very much. Very much so. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, too cute. Yes. And the heel is like not too high, which I love because I think I've told y'all before, I don't do the six inch heel stuff. I can't do it. I look crazy. And the whole point of me going out is to be fun, to having fun. Yes, I want to be cute, but at the cost of fun, I don't think it's a fair trade-off. So, I'm very intentional about my heels these days. But anyways, I'm excited about my boots. <sighs> like, yes. Period. This is like my pink right here fuchsia fuchsia is a bad girl it's a bad girl and then it has like croc detailing and then smooths here with the pointed toe it still has croc detailing but it's like smoother can you see that yeah so it like and then it, it bunches like naturally which i love when a boot does that like i usually bunch my own boots but this like naturally bunches and then, like I said, it comes to the knee, like, oh, yes. Okay. I just wanted to show y'all my boots. And I don't like that. How's your water? How's your water intake? Because sometimes that's a response in the skin. I already drink it. That's all I need. Like, I don't need to be a Put the girls in formation. They fit in here perfectly. I had an empty spot on my black row. My silver boots go right there. And then she came in to steal the show. I think I'm gonna put my silver boots over here because those are like starting three, okay? Silver, fuchsia, and my um, thigh high combats starting three. And then I think I'm going to move my cowboy boots over here. But I do have these and I can get more of these because I have finally graduated from keeping my boxes. Although I see this box that the, the boots came in and it's so sturdy and it's really a nice box. Like it's really a nice box. Like even this detail. But <sighs> I've graduated from it so I'm not going to keep my box. But yeah, again, I'm about to just get ready to go. Because I really am hungry. Um, and I really shouldn't even tell y'all this, but all that I've had today was a freaking cupcake. Like, don't be like me. Like, why would I do that? 
that's all the calories I've had today.